So here she is then, the largest warship ever built for the Royal Navy, the Queen Elizabeth, alongside the Princess Royal Jetty. This quayside has been specially adapted to accommodate this 65,000 ton ship. The quay itself has been strengthened. There's various facilities been put here specifically for the aircraft carrier. The main harbour, 11 metres. So she is 280 metres long, 40 metres wide, and the flight deck is 70 metres across. The flight deck itself is reserved for the F-35B Lightning Jets. And when in active service, she'll be carrying nearly 40 of these, priced at £100 million each. She'll also carry an array of helicopters, including Merlins, Chinooks and Apache gunships. So there are 17 decks on board, and to get the planes from the hangars onto the flight decks, there are two lifts. Each of these lifts can accommodate two aircraft. That means it takes just 60 seconds to get four planes from the hangar onto the flight deck. Now she has the famous ski jump up on the bow. This will allow the aircraft to take off with a heavier payload of arms or fuel. When they come back into land though, they do have to land vertically as there is no arresting gear on the runway. So she arrived into Portsmouth last Wednesday at about 20 past 7 in the morning. Her arrival was practiced numerous times at our bridge simulators we have at HMS Collingwood. And she was assisted into the harbour by one of our local pilots and six of them from the quayside. The idea behind these is they actually hold the aircraft carrier slightly further off the berth so that her flight deck doesn't encroach into the quayside at low tide. There's also a shore connection here and this provides the ship with electricity while it's alongside. It means she doesn't have to have her engines running. So on the tour today we will be looking round at three miles the continuous waterfront all owned by the Navy. From this part of the harbour all the way up to the cross channel ferry port which you will see a bit later on. This was all dug out by hand by prisoner of war. All the mud and silt that was taken was dumped over on the left where we see the red, green and yellow posts. That formed 16 square miles. twists and turns inland for about another six miles up to the small market town of Fairham. At the entrance of the creek, there's a barge with two grey cranes on. That's what's on the rest of the fleet for obvious reasons. Alongside the UHAF facility today is D-34 HMS Diamond, a Type 45 destroyer, and she is currently loading up with ammunition. Oh, uh, I guess worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, back over to the Elizabeth then. You might notice that she's not flying the white ensign. The white ensign being the raw ships across to the fuel using the aid of a couple of tugs. Alongside the pier today is the Cumbrian Fisher. She's currently acting as our floating fuel storage depot here in the harbour while they're doing a bit of maintenance to the pipeline. So all of the fuel for the warships in Portsmouth is now being kept.